hi now i'm going to demonstrate how to change the default login page for this spring security so as you see in the earlier video uh, we saw how we use spring security and there we use the default login page provided by spring security and now let's try to change it okay let's begin and first let's go to spring security.xml page sorry third xml file that we had in source main and yes spring security dot xml and here you might have noticed we add let's few things called the intercept url and in that intercept url we just need to add one more line our custom page called from login tag and here we define the login page as as login it can be anything doesn't matter and default target url we want to come back to the login page when there is unsuccessful login sorry so this is the default target url we want to go to welcome page and for authentication failure we want to come back to the login page authentication failure url we go to the login page and we have to define one more thing so we define slash login as our login url and we want to exclude that login as a secure url so we say this login this url pattern is not secure okay that's it now we have to define our custom login dot csp page so first uh, we have to define the custom controller called the login controller means i will just so so this is my login controller it's just a class where you put the same controller annotation and you just map it to slash login because we had mm, sorry so where that went because we have this slash login as the url pattern and in login controller also we have this slash login and we do the same so now we don't need this And this then we load the login page which is the login.csp which we should define in pages and let's do it so i'll just put it here so i have already made this login page and here so you can find the code again in the description so here you need to remember three things one is the form so there should be a form and so let's say enter your let's say custom custom login is okay so the important thing is there should be a form and form should have a method post and the action should be this j spring security check then another thing is you should have username defined as j underscore username and the password as j underscore password yeah so that's it and you have a submit button and to show the error message you put this line like this will show the last exception message so you can put wherever you want and so now we have the login page and we have the login controller that's then we are done so now we again do build with maven build and if everything is okay then there's going to be an error okay there is no error 
now what we need to do is just copy the gsp page sorry the one file to the tomcat directory let's go here back let's delete it and let's put it back in let's okay now let's start up and if everything's fine then we should not get any error keep going okay there is no error now let's see what it looks like this is the page and the spring and let's try to go to the admin page and we go to the custom login page and this is the custom error code that we stored below and the login as admin and we have the admin page